Hello everyone, I am Anubhav and welcome to a fresh new episode of Mr. Gadgetician where everyone is a gadgetician and I talk about gadgets on your behalf. So previously I have unboxed the Realme Buds Air and you can see the unboxing by clicking the i button here and uh, uh, today I will be reviewing the same product which is uh, Realme Buds Air. I have used it uh, for some time and uh, I have some pros and cons of the device and I will give you proper review in mr gadgetician style so please watch the video till end if you are planning to buy a truly wireless earphone so uh, i'm wasting much time let's just get into it let's go So at first I have to talk about this uh, little guy's build quality because uh, the build quality is really good and the glossy finish really attracts the viewers and also the uh, realme buds or actually these kind these buds are really uh, light and you can't really feel in your ear when you put the buds in your ear. So that's a good thing because these buds are really light. I must say Realme has copied the design of uh, Apple AirPods seamlessly and they have also written uh, in the device that uh, this is re designed by Realme. No brother, this is not designed by Realme, this is designed by Apple. The second good thing is this Realme Bud supports uh, uh, USB Type-C charging and, and it has a USB Type-C port so uh, it is always good to have a uh, futuristic USB Type-C port and uh, uh, charging through USB Type-C port is really easy and fast and uh, sadly uh, here it, it don't have a uh, super fast charging uh, and it also supports uh, the wireless charging so it's a flexible level feature and it's a good feature. Then then let's talk about the connectivity to experience all the features of this uh, uh, realme buds air you need to first install a app called realme link and this app is really good the interface is good and you have to first create a realme account and after that uh, you could connect your realme buds air through bluetooth and you have to keep your internet connection on and uh, after connecting i have received two uh, major updates uh, for this realme buds air after the first update sadly the uh, connection uh, became worst and uh, many times uh, the connections were lost and uh, i was really annoyed by that time but after that recently i have received another update which is really good and the connection has been improved and this earbud supports bluetooth version 5 so uh, it is really good for the earbuds and it is really uh, easy to connect the device with your phone Let's now talk about the music quality. Yes, when you are purchasing earbuds, the thing that really matters is the uh, music quality. So here I would say the uh, mids and lows are very good here, uh, but the highs were not as good as I have expected. But overall, I could say it's quite good. The music quality is quite good. But uh, obviously, uh, if you are a bass lover, I would say don't buy any uh, truly wireless earphones because the bass here is not as good as the wired earphones. The bass is better compared to other truly wireless earphones available uh, in the same price but still it could be improved and uh, it has low latency so the, the uh, music on your uh, phone on your actual phone and the uh, and what you hear on your earbuds uh, is uh, the difference is really minimal but when you are playing games it you will really feel the difference and uh, i would say that don't use any truly wireless earbuds uh, in such price range uh, and it will not help you in gaming because uh, uh, in the fraction of second matters uh, in games so uh, i would say uh, for gaming i would not recommend any tr uh, truly wireless earbuds uh, precisely if you are playing pubg it wouldn't be good for you but here uh, i would say the touch response uh, uh, is really good to have uh, in such a price point and uh, the touch response is quite good but not as good as the apple airpods obviously the airpods are much more costlier and uh, here uh, you get a uh, airpod like features uh, in just 4000 rupees there is a little delay in touch response uh, and uh, but the good thing is you can uh, pause and play music through the uh, touch sensors and you if you uh, for example if you if you double tap the right earbud uh, 
uh, it will pause the music and also if you again double tap the air buds it will again play the music uh, same uh, similarly when you want to receive a call you can just double tap the air bud and uh, it will uh, receive the call and talking about calls the call response and also the audio quality when you are calling is really good and i would say this is the call response is really awesome and even if you can talk with just single ear buds in your ear uh, so that's a good feature so you don't have to always put two ear buds in your ear so whenever i try to speak with these earphones through call i really feel that the person on the other side were able to hear me properly and the sound quality was really good and uh, obviously uh, it has a uh, two noise cancellation mics so the noise cancellation was also very good but uh, i would say uh, when you are uh, talking in a low voice uh, obviously if the other person wouldn't be hearing this for this facility or if you want to if, if you have a low voice i would suggest uh, please uh, uh, use a wired earphone because these kind of earbuds are not good for uh, the for the persons who talk in a lower voice so let's now talk about the battery life of realme buds air the charging case could provide you 17 hours of music playback that is what realme claims but in my experience i would say the battery life is about 16 hours also the buds have a battery life of three hours which also uh, is claimed by realme and uh, here i get a battery life of about two and a half hours uh, i would say the battery capacity and the battery performance here is really good and uh, you wouldn't face any problem uh, regarding the battery life of this device this device also supports enc which is environmental noise cancellation technology and uh, so with this uh, device you one caller shouldn't hear much of the noise uh, surrounding you but in reality the noise cancellation cancellation technology is not as good as I have expected. When you press your two earbuds in your ear simultaneously, uh, you experience the game mode. Here the latency becomes much lower than the normal and uh, here is a catch, the battery life uh, will get affected for that. You have to keep it in mind. And uh, still I wouldn't recommend gaming through these truly wireless earbuds. So that's it. That was the review of Realme Buds Air in the Mr. Gadgetician style. Tell me how you like it. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. It motivates me a lot uh, to make such kind of interesting contents. So, so that's it for now. It's time I bid you adieu. Stay healthy, stay blessed and always be happy.